Hello folks and welcome to another edition of Sounding Board. Tonight we're going to talk about something that happened very bad to one of our cast members on the internet. You're wondering who the perpetrator is who did this. Well, it was a YouTube site who has a core of other sites on other uh, mass media, public media sites. Its name is Sega Bits. And they ran this contest win a Sonic Mania manual if you get the most hits and people like you the most. Well, sure enough, Katie won both the YouTube site and the Facebook site, which is quite impressive for her to win two sites back to back and win these manuals. And they're very desirable for most Sonic collectors because you needed to finish the the set of Sonic Mania because you don't get the manual when you buy the collected edition, which isn't fair neither. While this manual is important to Sonic collectors, it was more important to her because she is a hardcore Sonic collector like some of us collect Star Wars or DC comic memorabilia or Marvel memorabilia. She collects Sonic memorabilia. And for her to win two of them was like the greatest thing in the whole world. The perpetrator of this heinous crime is the people known as Sega Bits. On YouTube, we know him as Sega Bits, and on other uh, mass media sites, we know him as Sega Bits. I know some have different ones, but that's beside the point. So, folks, we are here with Katie, and she's going to share with us what happened with Sega Bits with. The contest. So tell us, what exactly did the, happen on this event? How did it start? Yes? Yeah, I screwed up. My name is Caitlin on the thing. Oh, is it Caitlin? Wow. But on Wasteland TV and Sounding Board, you're known as Katie. I know. I didn't know you wanted your full name on it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. It's, it's because if you go on the um, winner of the Sega bits, it literally legitimately say, Caitlin. Misspelled. <laughs> that's that's legal. That's legal. And then your other alias, Haunted by the Light, is on there too. I know. You won two, two. So, what did you, what exactly happened? How did this all start? How did you find this contest? Um, I found it through one of my friends who actually entered the contest too. And um, the prizes you only get a chance to win the prizes of the Sonic uh, Mania manuals. And you only can enter on four different sites. I didn't know about the fourth one on the, you know, on the main site. So I only registered for three of them. That was on the Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Now, YouTube, I really wanted to win because they gave a special prize to the top comment. That should have been ours. <laughs> yes. Well, you got on the main page. <laughs> yes. But that prize should have been ours. <laughs> well, it was quite amazing, um, the turnout, especially, um, I was going up against someone on the YouTube page, and he, um, count, I wanted to say he deleted his comment later that night, especially. Well, let's go through this, the whole thing. Why did he delete his comment? He said it wasn't that great, so he wanted to rewrite it. But he was already, he already had a comment up. And then all of a sudden, he, was, he had two comments up simultaneously. Well, no. He said he deleted his by accident. Then he posted an error comment. Yeah, but I, we were all in the room when we were playing D&D. &D and you're going, he has two comments up. Yes. Uh, you're going, that's cheating. Yeah, but we didn't think he was cheating at that time. I told you it was cheating. I know, but you deleted the other comments. Yeah, after a while. When he realized, I can't have two comments up. Yeah, because the rules was one entry per person. Yes. But he never saw that. He just, like, said... Yeah, right. 
Well, it kind of scared me because I truly believed I lost. You know, having yeah. um 25 likes, which is pretty good. I'm glad for you anyone You technically who... would have had more if they weren't sharking it and taking away your uh, things with dislikes. True. But it was still, I'm still proud for anyone who gave it a like. It mean a lot to me, knowing that they liked my comments. But they should have liked ours instead. Yours got liked. Yours is actually the second highest. Was it really? Well, compared to um, if you didn't count the guy who tried flagging it, um, you were like third to second highest with oh. 12 comments. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I feel kind of cheated. Maybe I should have got a manual. <laughs> well, I was still shocked to even get it. I mean, I was just, just watching a movie with mom. And the funny part is my Facebook comment got popped up having them literally saying, oh, congratulations, you're the winner. And I was like screaming and crying. And then I went to go check on my YouTube and found out I won on YouTube too. So I'm like, I won twice. Yes, that's pretty awesome. So after you got all this, these likes and you won and you told your mom with tears down your eye, I won. I won not once but twice. What happened? Um, well, they asked me for my address, you know, from Sega Bits. Basically yeah. saying you're a winner. Yes, I'm a winner. They asked for my address. I gave my address twice. I even told them flat out saying, oh my gosh, I won twice. <laughs> so that means it saves them on postage if they just mail it together. But I never got a comment back from them, but they checked out my comments. At least the Facebook one said that they saw it. And then everything was happy in the world. Yes, and I was actually planning on giving uh, one of my manuals to my friend who I talked about in the beginning who got me into that contest. He didn't win. It wasn't me who she was winning. She gave a manual to. <laughs> we didn't win either, and she could have given us the other one. Remember that, folks. I'm sorry. Good I... deeds do not pay off. But this guy was a sign collector, and he's the reason why I got into that contest. I thought I was only right. That hurts. I'm not a Sonic collector, but I might have wanted a manual. I don't own the game. Well, the manuals go out for like 150 bucks online. Yeah, but that could have been a War Machine army for me. <laughs> yeah, you probably would have ripped it up right in front of my face. Yeah, I'll be no. hoping that you probably hang it up on your wall. I would have hung it up on wall if I won and you didn't. In a nice little frame that says, winner. And then a picture of you at the bottom, loser. But let's go on. Okay, and so you went by fine week one. Well, okay, it's in the mail. That the guy um, found out when I won on the Haunted by Light, he literally went after on Sega Bits. Literally, he's like saying, "Oh, you should not, you know, you should have been more paying attention. It's me who was the clear winner." Okay, so he was being childish, starting to trying to start turmoil, saying, "Give it to me, give it to me, don't give it to her." Yes. And, of course, I had a few people, um, like, someone went after him, just, like, saying, no, you delete your comments. Yeah. Because someone else caught it, so it's not just me. Yeah. <laughs> so, he he basically screwed the pooch, and he didn't like it. Yes. And But everything was happy after that. You know, you're waiting in the mail, checking the mailbox every day. It's oh, not here definitely. yet. It's not here yet. It's, it's only been two days have passed, Katie. Huh? Mail doesn't beam in like the from the Enterprise. I want it like in that next week. It should have Especially, been. Especially they told me it was gonna be um very fast. Like they wanted to mail it off really fast, not just like done. Okay, and then by the time you got to week three, you're kind of hesitant. What are you thinking? Well, I was hesitant, thinking maybe I my prize got lost in the mail. I was like saying. Oh, dang, it got lost in the mail. I didn't get my prize. And no one came out saying anything about it, so it's like... Uh, okay, they all got theirs, and I lost mine in the mail. Yes. Yes. I'm not the only one that didn't win. Yes. <laughs> okay, so then by the time you get to week four, you kind of go going, Ah, it's lost in the mail. <sighs> <laughs> Definitely. I I was literally like almost in tears knowing that it wasn't coming. So what I end up doing is I end up messaging them saying, hey, is mine coming in the mail like on Facebook? And they have never once responded. Never once? No. Okay, and then you 
I How went, many times did you respond to them? Um, when they replied back, but they never did for this one. But I just responded on their Facebook once. Just waited a few days because, as their Facebook says, they check every single day. Not only that, they're reposting everything on every single day. So it's kind of like, wait, why are you guys not paying attention to me? I'm right here. Especially as a fellow YouTuber on the thing, you get a little thing in the corner saying, you've got comments you need to check out. Especially Facebook does the exact same thing. Yeah. And so, basically, they can't say they didn't see it or they can't say they don't have comments because they're on it at least twice a week. Actually, they on it more than that because their thing literally pops up saying when they're actually on it. And then you got to week five and six. You're kind of sad that they're not responding. And then finally. Well, no. On week five and six, I decided to go onto the YouTube, like on their page, meshing them personally, saying, hey, what's going on? Because all I was asking is, did you actually mail out my thing? Is it in the mail? You know, it was just a simple question. Do you even mail it out? I was just hoping that they respond saying, oh, sorry, we've been busy. We haven't mailed it out yet, but we'll mail it out right away. Or just to say, I'm sorry, I got lost in mail. But for the pure reason that... But they, the, the lie of being lost in the mail still comes off kind of false and... Yes, but it's at least a reply. Yeah. It's at least something. It's not saying, oh, we don't want to, you know, deal with you. And so after this contest... After the weeks that happened, I went out and looked, and before their numbers, they were slowly slant. They were they were dying off. Now they're getting they got double the amount of viewers now looking at their videos and stuff again. Well, to order to enter to the contest, you have to like their page, you have to subscribe to them. You know, you have to do all these rules. You also have to like the video. So it would make sense that they would have a lot of people. And if you like and subscribe, you're going to always get a little bubble saying, Sega Bit, put up a new video. So you're going to now have to stop and take a look if you like it. Yes. Because that was one of the contest entries you have to do. Not only that, you also have to write a comment that if you, um, you know, what was your favorite part of the game, the music, stage, or boss. So after you, you you waited weeks and weeks, all of a sudden other comments started appearing that said, where's my manual? Yes, other winners uh, claimed to saying that they won but never got their manuals. So it made me feel like, okay, yay, I'm not the only one, but now there's other people out there that didn't get their manuals. Which also confirms it wasn't lost in the mail. If they all lost theirs in the mail, what the hell? This shouldn't happen. Yeah. One, maybe two, it's possible. But as a reputable source, giving away these videos, I mean these manuals, um, you think they would have put them in little padded envelopes and shipped them uh, a priority with tracking numbers. They didn't even give us tracking numbers. Or... Yeah, that's the thing. They should have been shipped with tracking numbers and send each one of the winners a tracking number so they can they can track their image their their, their little booklet uh pat that it's in the mail. And so I don't think they did it because it's gonna cost them at least anywhere from three dollars no shipping with no insurance to five dollars with insurance. And then they're going to have to pay another $2 on top of that because they're shipping a $100 item potentially. No, they're going to have to pay $4 for shipping because you, your shipping's uh, taken off then. So they're going to be paying $9 for each manual just to send it protected. And I think after nine times, is it 14 winners altogether? Uh, no. Truthfully, there's supposed to be 20 winners, but if you count me with the slot of 19 and 20. Yeah, it still counts. So 20 winners... 20 manuals at $9 each. That's too much. That's too much for them out of their pocket. It's easier for them to say, ignore all, all the winners, enjoy the fact that they're doubling their viewership through this contest, and that's just 20 viewers they're going to lose. They're not going to do nothing about it. Well, I think they should care a little bit more because... 
these are people that will actually give credit to them no matter what they do. These are the people that support them and the P and, and their videos. All of a sudden if it got out that they're not supporting the winners of this contest, it's gonna be like a domino pick. Oh, they didn't support Katie. Well, I'm Katie's friend, I'm not gonna do it. Or I'm not gonna be there listen to their videos anymore because it's not right that they cheat they cheated so and so. There could be a domino effect to happen because you could hit that cheat that one person who has a lot of friends on your site and drop a lot of your videos in one shot. True. And I think that's well, why they didn't say anything about it. Not only that, who wants to sign up for a contest now knowing that you might not even get a prize? Yeah. If they decide to do another contest, everyone already give be knowing that they never give out the prizes. Yeah. So, long-term-wise, do you feel it's right that they're not sending out the manuals? If For that amount of money, due to the fact they ran a contest that they can't afford to do the overhead on? Truthfully, I think I would have been a little more forgiven if they actually wrote back. They don't even reply back to any of the winners who literally came out saying, hey, you didn't ship our manuals. I also don't like the fact that is. Other people didn't get their manuals. Like, if it was just me, I would bypass this whole thing. I wouldn't care about it. But I just hate the fact that they did this to everyone. That they frauded 20 people to get 20 other people to get 20 other people to go to their site and be friends. Be friends and subscribe them. Then all of a sudden, they get a huge viewership. And then they don't follow through on what they were doing. Yes. And that's not fair. Not only that, I also have a hard time because I'm not sure if it's literally there because proof came up saying that um the pictures, the images they used was actually from another site. Yes, I actually discovered that that a lot of images that were for the contest aren't theirs. They're from when you Google them, you can find them from other sites. So it makes you wonder did they just get these images and go hmm. Let's put this contest together with these random images. No one's going to follow through on the fact we're not going to ship them. And then we'll throw out the name of uh, the guy on Aaron something or other. Aaron Weber. Aaron Weber. And make us seem somewhat professional that he gave them all to us. And then it becomes not our fault we didn't get them. It's Aaron Weber's fault, which isn't right to do to them because it's not Aaron Weber's contest. No, he was just the one who supplied it, but we don't if even we, know. If he supplied it, or if he committed to it, we don't even know that. But the fact is, they threw the Aaron Weber name out there. Actually, I'm not even sure anyone contacted him. No. And and that's the thing, is you're going, why run a contest if you're not going to commit and have a budget to get, send these manuals out? And they could do it like the magic card people. They could have just thrown it in an envelope between two piece sandwich between two pieces of cheap cardboard and put it in there for fifty nine cents in the mail. Because then it's just going to be in an odd shaped envelope, and then there's a chance it's going to get crushed, bent out of shape. But at least they're there. Yes, you at least got the manual. You at least got the manual. It's not like you're waiting hours and hours and days. In a so do you feel this is fraud? This entire contest. A hundred percent. Because it became fraud once more people came out saying they didn't get theirs. So. And it's been two months now. Yes. Since the contest has ended. Yesterday was the day when it ended. The twentieth was two months. Two months without a without a prize being shipped, in eBay. After a, after a month, if you don't get your item, you, you put a thing in and go, I want a refund. Where's my item? And they'll, they'll refund it in seven days. This, you know, the only one profiting from their alleged mistake, if there is a alleged mistake that they say, is them. Say the, the site itself saying, oh, they got all lost in mail or the dog ate them. Well, or the separators, they're not even part of Sega. They literally said on their site saying, Sorry, this is not a Sega properly, you know, this is a fan-made site. Because they're basically came to want people to think they're a Sega site, not a fan site. So then they, it sounds official that the manuals are there. And then they can say, well, 
we weren't an official site and Sega backed out at the last minute saying they're not going to ship us these manuals. Actually, no. They already had them. They already said they had them. According to what they said, yes. Now they can go back and say, oh, no. They, they, we were waiting for them in the mail when we did the contest and Sega then sent us a message, sorry, we are not sending it. Which would be another... You mean Aaron Rubber. He's yes. the one who donated it. Uh, yes, a compounding of a series of stories and end a window just to placate an audience like a politician going, it's not my fault that I blew up the world, but hey, it's okay. We're still alive. Until they get modded. Yeah. <laughs> so, before we finish, any last words about this you'd like to share? Don't enter a contest online, a fan-made contest, because... There's no guarantee that you actually will be able to get a prize or not. If it's run by an official, um, you know, place like Sega, actually, literally. So if it's a Sega sponsored, a true Sega site, it's worth the risk. Yes. But anything that's fan based or questionable, don't do it because you're going to get. It's, there's a good chance it's a fraud uh, contest. Yes. And that is sad. That you can't even trust contests that people feel comfortable with going, hey, I trust these people, and now they're not following through. Yep, pretty much. That's sad. But if anything more comes out, this is the sounding board signing off, and we'll let you know more if anything more happens or changes on this topic. And if you have a question, if you have a problem with what we said, Put it in our comment box. We would like to hear. Because after all, hate mail is just as good as like mail. And if you're one of the winners. Please. One of the mails, I'd like to hear your story of what your feelings are about this entire incident with you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem.